Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we'll talk a bit about this new add-on for Blender called Stairmaker that allows you to create stairs with just a couple of clicks. And in the description below, I leave the link from where you can download the add-on. And I've been actually playing with this add-on for the last couple of days because uh, I wanted to see what kind of different type of stairs uh, you can create with it. And I will show you some renders of the models I did and and, and you can see that you can really get creative with it. And, and the best thing about this add-on is that the stairs you create are fully procedural and you can edit them as quickly as it takes to click on a button. And another cool thing is that even if this add-on is not free, you'll get 25% discount uh, uh, during checkout if you use my discount code, which is Blender Bash. Now we'll just go fast uh, through some of the features of the add-on because it would take ages to go through every single option. But if you really want to see every single little thing here at the download page, you can download its user manual that gets uh, really thorough and you can check it out even before purchasing the add-on. Uh, so now enough with the chit chat and let's get into it. Okay, so uh, once you install the add-on, you'll see it like here, 3D view, stair maker, and you will need to enable it. And once you enable it, you will have in this sidebar, uh, this BB assets panel that gives you uh, these two options, stairs or railings. And um, you need to select uh, whichever object uh, you want, you can select uh, also the mesh uh, like this and create stairs like this, as you can see. Uh, but I would prefer if you would just use something like this. So this is a curve or a single mesh polyline, like uh, if you see it like this, this is just mesh and, uh, and this is a curve. So this would be better. We'll talk about that in a second, why it would be better to use this. But so let's just use, for example, this one and let's create stairs. And just for the sake of it, let's do the same thing with the other one. And you can switch between the two. The panels that are open will be obviously referred to the, to the one that is selected. So what happens actually with this add-on? Um, this object, when you create stairs, for example, or railings, whatever, but if you, if you create stairs, then uh, this modifier, uh, geometry nodes modifier, will appear at the object, but you don't need to worry about it. It just needs to be active. So for example, if I was to uh, add a bevel, and I usually do add a bevel, so that, for example, these threads and risers get beveled a bit, but let me just reduce the bevel a bit like this. And as you can see now, if I select this object, then you can see that none of the parameters that were here before are visible. And that's uh, because uh, in our modifier property panel, uh, the bevel is active and not this geometry node modifier. So this is the only thing you need to keep in mind simply because uh, everything is in this side panel in the 3D viewport. And these are a lot of settings that appear uh, that you can expand by clicking on these little arrows and let's go through them as fast as we can. Like I said, so uh, first we've got uh, global settings. So this is the height of the stairs. As you can see, you can switch between one and the other and and when you come back to it, it will still work. We have the stair width, you have the step height. So every step has its height. And then we have the construction thickness. So this is the construction and you can uh, you can make it thicker or whatever. And then we have a couple of uh, switches like this trimmed floor that gives you this, this little triangle that wasn't there before, depending on what you need your stairs for. You got the trim wall. It's also something here and that I'm not going to go into it, but as I already told you, the manual is really thorough. So all the little details are really well explained in that. So go and download that if you want. We have the full stair switch. So we got the construction that's full and we, we can hide the construction. So no construction at all. Well, let's just leave it at that. And then the next sub menu is this tread riser. You know, these are the treads, these are the risers, so you can hide them 
show them hide them show them and you can set the thickness of it you can set the nosing which is this little overlay of of the thread right there and, and you can you also use the custom thread object so if you want you can set your custom thread or custom riser but that's not what we're going to do right now there's no need for that okay and let's go to the beams so the beams you can show the beams and now uh, this is what happens and you can have uh, as many as you like as well as hide them and um, you can set the thickness of each beam and you can set the the width and and this how this works and then we can we also have those trimmed wall trim floor switches and also the full beam which is something like that full stairs we got up there uh, you'll notice that when uh, when some switches are on or off some of the options here disappear simply because when we have the full beam uh, the beam thickness is uh, kind of useless as an as a as an option to change so that's about it about the beams then we have the railing and so this is kind of this is kind of cool the the railing so there's a, a whole new set of options that appear here you can show hide railing of course and if you show them you can under the global settings set the railing on the left or on the both side or on the right and you can set the height and you can set the position in respect of the edge of the stairs and, and then for each of the four elements we've got here and the four elements are post handrail vertical bars and horizontal bars and for each of these you can show hide them you can set the shape of the vertices like this you can set the size uh, and, and 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 you can set some positions if you want this will probably get useful when we use something like custom post object so you can use a, a custom post object something like this for example and you can set uh, the post uh, every other step or every fourth or every fifth step something like this and you can choose to hide for example the end post here is missing or the start post as you can see why is this useful this is useful uh, for example uh, when we have a railing object and this railing object can be for example the continuance of of this railing here let me just put it in place like this let me just lower a bit of the, like this and for example when you have it like this your posts would kind of align so it would be useful to switch one of these off you can also switch the post here hide and post sorry this is the so let's go back to the stairs here and uh, uh, that's about it uh, also the handrail uh, is the same principles uh, but here with the handrail it's different because the custom object here is not actually an object but it's the profile so here we have a circle as a profile but we can use a custom one I, I have one here like this weird looking profile which is uh, is actually much bigger where is it ah, it's here and uh, but it gets scaled according to these these values right here so that's also useful and another thing to say about this uh, handrail is that you can extend it you can extend it the start and you can extend the end and you can choose two modes to extend your start and end handrail and these are horizontal where you force the horizontal extend or in the stairs direction like this as well as here on the upper part so horizontal or in the stairs direction and this is uh, very useful uh, for the same reason I talked before 
uh, when kind of connecting your railing with the railing of the upper floor or stuff like that and okay and then that's about it about the railing and all of these parameters here are going to be the same parameters that we'll have uh, when we have like a railing object because now we we created the stairs but remember we could have created the railing and the railing is practically you'll get this and then uh let's go to the fun part and this is the deform along curve so you can enable it and then it will deform along that start geometry of ours and you'll see that this is also fully procedural so if i change my curve the stairs will change accordingly and uh, obviously here there's errors but we, we, we got a custom object so this is to be expected uh, and you need to like lower this custom post a bit in edit mode of the object you'll notice that when you're in edit mode uh, our panel here bb asset disappears and that's because you you can change it only in object mode so now we're back in object mode and you can see it that it's now everything is back uh, we have three modes of deforming along a curve and these modes um, uh, uh, you're probably going to use 90% of the time the normal one, but you can go check out the manual that explains uh, these other two modes that are correct, sharp corners and force parallel steps. Anyway, uh, next we've got the offset. That kind of, this is where it shows best. So offset, you can see what happens with the offset. And, and the start offset also, so you can kind of move the stairs along the curve. And then we also have the reverse path curve, so what was up now is down. And you can also uh, set fit curve length and, and the stairs get scaled to fit the whole length of the curve. And also the custom path curve object so if you have like a curve in your scene that you want to use to uh, deform the stairs along uh, that's where you're gonna choose it and now uh, the materials are very simple so materials here you select the materials let's just blue uh, for example the construction is blue and let's just set the riser to black just so that you see that it works fine but where it becomes interesting is when you for example have an um, material that has uh, a texture uh, so for example i have this test checkers here and i'm going to set it uh, to my uh, construction here the beams and as you can see there is no texture and why is that because you need to set a string so um, something you need to write here let's let's just say i don't know string and uh, and then you need to go to the shading workspace and here under that material so you need to select that test checkers materials that has the texture uh, you need to add an attribute node and here on the name you need to write that same string you wrote so string and then from the socket the vector socket connected to the vector of the mapping node and and you will see that now sorry I just mistyped so str I string and now as you can see the texture is there and this works for all the other elements of your stairs so let's go back to the layout and well you can see that if we set test checkers to all of them they will all be mapped correctly and the last parameter in this sub menu is this scale UV map and this will practically scale your R UVs so if you need a different scale for different elements you would need to create two materials in the shading and apply to each his own and then uh, control the scale here inside the shading workspace of the materials uh, okay uh, next and last actually we have these extras and these extras are there are four 
cool little tools that you can use. And the uh, first one is the apply geometry. So this is very simple. So once you apply the geometry, the geometry you had is inside and um, and that's about it but you cannot use any of your parameters to change these uh, stairs and they are practically like editable like any other uh, geometry and so this is kind of the destructive way but sometimes uh, you, maybe you would need it i don't know okay let's undo this applying uh, next we've got the transfer setting and this is cool if for some reason you you kind of created your stairs with all the custom stuff and whatever and you would like to transfer all these uh, parameters to a different stairs object you would just do do it like this so uh, select the object you want to receive these new settings and then select the one from which you are copying the settings so that the the one that is so that that's the one that's active and you'll notice it because it's, it will have this uh, lighter outline and, and then press transfer settings and you will see that uh, the, the settings have been transferred uh, but okay we have a weird situation here because the railing is uh, on the wrong side and and which brings me actually to this third button because here if we would want to for example change the railing on the the other side you'll notice that it changed also on the other one and that's uh, what you need to keep in mind when transfer settings you actually are creating a clone and to break this link you would just have to use this make sorry let's collapse this this make unique button and now these are unique and so you can switch back here like this okay but you can see that whatever got transferred it got transferred okay so we got our post that's a, a custom object and all the materials have been transferred and, and so on and then uh, the last thing is convert to railing for the same exact reason if you want uh, to have the railing that is same as this of the stairs you just need to select an object convert to railing and you will have a railing that has the same exact settings as the stairs so you can see here that we are missing our end and start post and now it's back and everything else is the same so uh, and that is practically it i think i told you everything let me just think for a second no that, that's about it anyway if you want to know more and go into detail uh, you should check out the manual download it for free and if you want to purchase this add-on uh, remember the discount code is blender bash and you'll get 25 percent off so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye